Let's leave behind the gear segment because really what we're all here for is to learn a little bit about successful television production. And so before I bring up our next guest, I'm going to say just a, a few quick words. This gentleman has been a correspondent for CNN. He's traveled the world uh, it, it, as, a, as a reporter. He's been a correspondent for WPLG Channel 10 News. And now, in two weeks, he is premiering a reality television series on the CW network called Catalina. So before we bring this gentleman up, Verge, let's see a clip. This is the owner of the Catalina Hotel. My number one rule? He's kind of crazy. Not to make a guest feel like number two. Until you compare him to the restaurant manager. People that work for me are stupid. Who's off her rocker. You're just gonna die a moron. We can't even show you how crazy the new bartender is. Nom, 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 nom. But you get the idea. Morons. Then there's the guests. Uh May 29th. Fat equals fire. Join the insanity. I can sue you for that. The Catalina, Tuesday, May 29th on The CW. All right, so who is this international man of mystery bringing us Catalina on The CW? Everybody welcome from Beach Pictures, Mr. Adrian Bashuk. Adrian, great to see you. Thanks for joining us Thank on the you. show. Thank you. Good to be here. All right. So, Adrian, uh, like Andy, you're also a Florida native, yeah? I am. Uh, I grew up on the beach. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beach native, basically. I uh, went to school here, then went to college in Boston, lived around the world, traveled the world, et cetera, and came back here to start a production company and really kind of develop a base for Miami talent. And so did you start, did you go to film school? Uh, not at all. I studied uh, international relations and, and communications. I started out in news because I just, uh, yeah, I was okay on TV, and it, and it, was, it was more of a launch pad to be able to, to get abroad and travel the world as quick as I So you as hooked as up with Al Gore. Yeah, uh, I started out at Channel 10 for a year and a half and I went to CNN as a correspondent. Uh, I was way too young. Okay. Uh, and then luckily my, my freshman year college roommate was Gore's top aide during the 2000 election and heard rumors that Gore was starting this new network. So put me in touch with his team and helped start Current TV in, in 05 before the launch and they had me based in Israel, so I covered uh, the Middle East, Asia, and Africa for a good five years. All right. And so from, from CNN and Current TV, how did you end up starting Beach Pictures? So uh, there I was in Iraq covering the war. The uh, first war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This right. Iraq war. Uh, I was being dispatched to Lebanon to cover events there. Uh, I snuck into North Korea. I was covering a, um, uh, a tribal war in Kenya. This was all really dangerous stuff. And uh, it was great for five years, but after that I was like, I want to go to my beach and just hang out. So let me, let me go back home. A and, nice, uh, a nice uh, yeah, contrast yeah. to North Korea. Big time, big time. So I, I, you know, I've been there, done that. And, and frankly, I wanted to own and develop content. It was great working for these big companies, but at the end of the day, it's like you're working for someone else. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, since I was a little kid, I was starting businesses. I was selling uh, cinnamon sticks and T-shirts, you name it. Uh, and now you're selling uh, media. Yeah, so now we're, we're selling content and TV shows. But what's really important to us at Beach Pictures is selling Miami-based and Miami-created content. Because all over the place uh, in, in, in the world of, of production, be it TV, film, you have like these L.A. And, the, and these New Yorkers who come down and basically exploit Miami. And they, they, they use our incredible scenery, uh, th th you know, th this mix of cultures that's truly unique uh, around the world, and they exploit it. They bring in their crews, uh, their equipment, for example, um, and really don't use the local assets and the local people. I don't know if you've noticed, but we've sort of started an underground campaign. Uh, this is going to be a recurring theme on the show. Florida is secretly taking over the production industry. You saw Andy Shipsides. He's our agent in New York City. Okay. We got a couple guys in LA, so we're we're fighting back a little bit. Sure, no, no. There there is like this 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 crop of Miami locals who've gone to New York and LA and and are and are re-importing, you know, productions and talent down here. So th there is a, a little groundswell. So um, you you found that owning media, producing Miami content on Miami Beach is a little bit safer than North Korea, but actually some of your Miami content got you in trouble. The U.S. Department of Justice shut down one of your productions. Why don't you tell me a little about uh, that? Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say shut down. You know, it's not like we were in the middle of production burning thousands of dollars a day. We had produced a, a pilot with the Miami Police Department called Miami's Finest. Um, some people in Miami may, may remember the story. It was in the New Times and the Herald, and then it was on the front page of the New York Times. It was basically like the real-life Miami Vice, and we, we got access to the 
kind of undercover units of the Miami PD. Uh, we, we, we sold the show to TLC in conjunction with one of our partners in LA. And um, this controversy broke out because officers in the show were involved in these, in these shootings. So the Department of Justice kind of took over the, the department and said, no show until you know, our, our, our investigation, et cetera, over. So we're, we're still hoping to, to get back on the horse, so to speak. Right. So one of your shows that have, have snuck through the legislative cracks and, it, and is about to air finally on, uh, what's the network? Uh, CW. So that's a, that's a collaboration of CBS and the Warner Brothers Network. Yeah, so we, we had pitched uh, CW uh, a, a while back on another show that, that we were developing, another Miami show, and they liked what we were about. They liked the fact that we were local, authentic, you name it. And I, I have two partners, uh, George Moreno is a Grammy award-winning Latin rock star from down here, and Nathan Lieberman, who's actually the owner of the, of the hotel who I grew up with. Um, so we, they came to us and said, hey, you know, uh, we like what you guys are about. Do you have anything going on? And we had this project on the back burner of doing a show about the Catalina, Catalina Hotel. So you're, you're following the, the staff, the bartenders, the pool girls? Yeah, it's, it's, it's behind the scenes of a South Beach hotel. Okay. Uh, that, that wasn't going to be done at the Delano, it wasn't going to be done at the Satai or the Ritz. Uh, the Catalina was this perfect mix of party hotel and characters and people from all over the country who come to experience South Beach firsthand. And you know what? We put it on TV. All right. Well, tell me a little bit about the... Oh, I'm sorry. Got We've got questions. a question coming in from the internet. Let's go to Debbie. From LA, would like to know what cameras are you shooting on? Yeah. Uh, so specifically for Catalina, what are you shooting on? Sure. Uh, we're shooting on on on, on the uh, big guys. We're shooting on the big Sony 900s. Uh, we basically. Hey. Well, no, 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 no. On the uh, uh, as executive producer, I wasn't in charge of the, uh, okay. all the technical aspects. But, but you're not shooting on tape. No, 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 no. And you're shooting on shoulder-mounted cams. Yeah, yeah. Big shoulder-mounted cams. Uh, we had four cams going at any time. Uh, we had some great shooters from down here, some from LA as well. Um, a, an amazing team. We LA. Had <laughs> we, we had uh, we had a 60-person crew, but uh, a lot of Miami's best people we brought on, All right. uh, which was really really important to us. And, and, and so, how many sound guys you got on there? We had two sound guys. Uh, at any given point, you know, we had eight to 12 people mic'd. Yeah, uh, we had two ACs going. Uh, we had a team of six PAs. Again, all local guys who were amazing. Who who will, will stick with us you know, on any and every production we have. Let's get another question from our guest. He answered the other question, which was, uh, what format are, is he um, recording? So are we on discs? Are we on memory cards? No, yeah, we're, we're on memory cards. On memory cards. Uh, yeah, we had uh, Josh Abril, who's a big local guy down here, doing data transfer, you know, hour in, hour out, shipping um, on, on hard drives at, at 10 o'clock every night at the FedEx right by the airport. Back so you're, to you're LA. editors in Los Angeles. Yeah. You're FedExing them hard drives. Mm -hmm. How long were you in production? Uh, it's crazy. We were partnering with a company called Bischoff Hervey, with Jason Hervey and Eric Bischoff. And so their facility in LA was, was post because we started production first week in April. We wrapped May 7th. That's six weeks, four days a week uh, to produce six one hour long episodes. So every week of production was essentially giving us one episode. Turnaround time is crazy. We're at May 7th, premiere May 29th, uh, 12 days from today. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So how much, how many hours would you shoot to get a single hour of an episode? Uh, I mean, we were going nonstop from Thursday at 8 a.m. to Sunday at, at 10 p.m. That's wild. Yeah. We have another question. All right. What is the budget for the show, and how long does it take to shoot and edit an an episode. Yeah, you know, people are always interested about, about this stuff, you know, kind of behind the scenes. Uh, the, the budget was substantial. It was uh, more than 250, less than a million. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, right, right around ha half, but less, uh, I would say less than that. Um, it's about a million billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and, and again, you know, we got six episodes. Episode. Yeah, and, and an episode was a week. We would also do, so we would shoot Thursday to Sunday, and then we would do interviews the following Wednesday, you know, to get all the story points for right. people to comment on what's going on. And then you're FedExing the, the, the footage back to your editors, and they have three days to turn it into. No, no, no. They, I mean, we wrapped May 7th. They were starting to edit, you know, from, from week two onwards. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, three working rough cuts in the can right now for the first three episodes. Again, we, we premiere May 29th and uh, the next three to come the rest of this week. And what then we'll time is the show on? Uh, so it premieres May 29th at 8 p.m. 
on the CW. Uh, on, on the CW, you know they've got Next Top Model, uh -huh. Gilmore Girls, uh -huh. uh, I, Gossip Girl. How many of those shows are Beach Picture shows? Uh, none, none of them. So far, just none one. Yeah, yeah. Just but one. Um, people must come to you pitching shows all the time. We we do. We get we get crazy pitches. I mean, I'm out at bars or clubs, and you know, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm 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 a, I'm a producer, and they're like, oh, I got the, the best show idea, you know, and. Uh, just some of them don't work, but other others are, are great. So Miami's Finest didn't make it. Catalina's on the networks. What are some of the other productions that you guys have that are that are on television? Yeah, I mean, I've I've helped produce uh, South Beach Toe. Uh, we've worked on a lot of different network productions that come down here. Mm -hmm. Like we helped bring Jersey Shore down here. Uh, we did all the Jersey <laughs> uh, location stuff for that. Uh, we've worked a lot with VH1, Bravo, all, all kinds of stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, b before we go, you know we don't like to drop names on on the dot video show, but who are some of the most famous people you've worked with? I, I mean, you know, I was back in news. I was you know, interviewing Saudi princes and George W. Bush and leaders from around the world, etc. Interviewed Michael Jackson. I covered Kobe Bryant. You know, stuff like that. Um, more recently than not, you know, just some of the bigger names in TV here and there. So. And uh, if you've got one of the craziest pitches, at either. It, it became a show or not. Sure. What, were, what are some of the craziest pitches you've heard uh, for a reality <laughs> television show? Uh, we we got one on uh, pool manufacturers, like people who are creating these crazy pools in people's backyards. Mm -hmm. I got a I, someone, you know, verbally pitched to me last week of uh, you know something involving the gambling world. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know if casinos are going to grant access. <laughs> so, you know, because we we try and provide kind of a documentary look into these different worlds. Uh -huh. Uh, with some entertainment flair. So I'll use the, the news background and, and documentaries to kind of meld the two. All right. Well, Catalina Pictures, May 29th at 8 p.m. on the CW Network. From Beach Pictures, Adrian Bashik, thanks for joining us on the show, man. We really appreciate it. Of course, buddy. That was Thank fantastic. You. And from all of us here at the Dot Studio, this has been Jesse Miller saying, totally awesome. <laughs> we did it. Our, our mics are off. So good.